And we're just gonna get it. We're gonna hop in there. Soul bad guy. Happy chaos. I'm sure there's lore related reasons they want to punch each other. And the look at how much damage the clone did to Happy Chaos. Mike hasn't even hit him yet. Yeah, I mean, Soul's got damage to spare going for the uh, little uh, flip tech off the 2k. And just like that, you're on the back foot. You're in the corner. Saftig has plenty of damage to work with. Breaks the wall. I don't know that I agree with breaking the wall there. Okay, well, if you're going to be able to PRC behind the 6H and just blow up MJ Cross A for trying to take their turn, then so be it. And we're going to have to find an answer for these Vipers on the side of MJ Karasa because Saftig is more than willing to let them rip. Yeah, and I mean, I, I there think... There we are again. I was going to say, I think the way Mike plays kind of lends themselves to really being able to capitalize on the positive bonus that comes from breaking the wall. So while there's a world where just, you know, bouncing them off the wall back and forth, you know, is, is very beneficial... I don't think Soul Bad Guy loops his pressure the same way that, you know, Happy Chaos and Chip do. So, like, the, the positive bonus being able to do, go for, like, those forbidden air dashes or confirming off of a revolver like that. Like, they just mean so much more to Mike than I think the, the continual wall pressure does. Yeah, I think that's valid. That's definitely valid. I think it's just, like, in a matchup like this, you know, every chance that you reset back to neutral is a chance for Happy Chaos to do just this. They're gonna have the initiative. I imagine Curse Ball, immediate, yep. And, and Saftig really, oh my God, I was about to speak gross mistruths. Has the throw with the red RC in the back. Do we have the damage in the back? No, scaling is pretty intense. 6H? Oh. No, dash forward. Gold Burst gets blocked, but nothing really comes of it. Oh, stayed in front with the roll too. That's tricky. And the staying in one spot for the PRC definitely caught Mike lacking. I am surprised. I, I really thought Saftig was going to be able to come back with that, but the scaling off of the throw RC was just a little bit too much. MJ Karasi gets the Deus Ex for the wall break. Going to get decent Oki, a hearty life lead, and positive bonus. How do we choose to answer? Are we going to be the aggressor? Yeah, we are. Go right in. 5D has the gun behind it. Deus Ex, uh, yeah, I think this should kill. Yeah. No, wow. I'm actually oh my surprised. God. I didn't realize the guts were going to stack up that heavy, but... Chip oh, is a still a thing. No, that wasn't even Chip. That was a hungry 6H out of Saftig that got absolutely sniped. He just shot him. Mm-hmm. Says, sit down. Game one is mine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Saftig had it there for much longer than I expected. The fact that they really almost brought that round two back was pretty surprising. Uh, but, you know, it's it just goes to show that you can make this happen. Saftig has the tenacity to really not be dissuaded by how difficult it can be to be on the back foot against Happy Chaos in the way that a lot of people do. I think a lot of people mentally shut down and sort of lose their grip on the match against Happy Chaos when they end up on the back foot. It's, it's frustrating, right? Because it's like... You know, he gets the lead by doing this grimy mix-up, whether it's roll-through gunshot or 5D gunshot, and then they could just hang back and play the shoot game. And it's, you know, it's it's definitely a frustration point. And, you know, it's something that they did try to adjust on the 2.0 patch, right? By changing the way his concentration works, they were like, we want more interaction between the players on the screen. And unfortunately, you know, that, that goal hasn't exactly been uh, accomplished, I will say. But look at that. One touch and you just lost 60% at least. Yeah, and, and we, we talked about this earlier with Viking as well. But if you're a character that can reliably two or three touch against Happy Chaos, that's a huge element of this matchup because it means that on these opportunities where you do get in, find that fast fall low, get the kill on the round, Saftig stays on the board with a perfect of their own, damn. Uh, but yeah, if, if you can if you can do these, you know, two or three touches, you know, every time, every, every touch that you need is another opportunity for Happy Chaos to make a good call and reset back to neutral. Oh. And you can't be dealing with that against a character that loves to capitalize off of neutral by completely controlling the screen. That's a lot of damage, too. I mean, we saw MJ start that that sequence there by trying to bait out the DP. They got the knockdown, and they, they just kind of backdashed. 
kind of you know, down back, waiting for the the input to come. But I don't know if he pulls it out. How does that one kill, but not the one earlier? Is it because he wasn't stuck to the wall already? Maybe I don't know. Uh, wall scaling is Jesus. a, a weird beast that I still don't fully grasp. I, I I still remember when people broke down the the system mechanic and found the uh, like the math behind it and how like wall scaling uh for the wall slump is this entirely separate value that goes down relative to how long you've been blocking versus getting hit versus in the corner it's this whole weird thing that you know you need a you need a higher education than i have in order to parse but we're still up 2-0 in favor of mj carasa who is parsing that value super well which makes sense i mean happy chaos brought magic to the world so you know this man is educated Educated in something, that's for sure. I think he's educated in magic. And clearly he's educated in guns, too. Which it really speaks something where the guy that literally taught that man how to do magic is still just showing up with a, a gun to the fight. So, how strong can magic really be? That's a good question. I suppose that would be a question for you, though, right? Because you, you, you play a time casting magic sand wizard um, uh, i i did for a time yes that character has been uh, retired since then we could talk about DD after though as mike saftig is uh trying to navigate through this oh, we're no. gonna see a c and d a cease and desist on moving forward we are gonna find the hit navigating okay. around the bandit pressure mj carasa gets smoked out by the air oh, to air but no. we're just too far away for the pickup off the wall yeah i was really hoping for the wall bounce there it didn't quite work out that I believe was Chip. I saw the FD bubble, but I don't think it mattered. Uh, I'm watching on the playback because if they were FDing, then uh, there is no Chip. Oh, so yeah, he he didn't FD. So his uh, keep in mind, Happy Chaos's regular block has that big green shield in yeah. front of him, so easy Doctor to mistake. Doctor Strange shield, but oh man, Mike, what are you doing? Betting it all on one DP, followed up by a burst. Taking a ride through the wall. Positive bonus going the way of MJ Karasa. So much damage off of that touch. That was soul level damage. We've got the life lead. Curse is going to run out in a moment. There it goes. And Mike is actually in the driver's seat here with that curse gone. But you can see how much he needs to dash back, dash in in order to make these opportunities. Here's the problem. Soul is a strike throw character and a mid dispenser. And, you know, MJ Karasa on Happy Chaos. Happy Chaos loves backdash with punish more than any other character in this game. So, you know, oh, if you don't have I a real dead. mix oh, no. up, nope, not if you draw. And the burst at the last second. Oh, that just block. Just barely saving Mike's life. Oh, boy. All right, two games to one saftig managed to make that one happen and yeah I, it's it's that tenacity again right like i'm sitting here talking up a storm about how like yeah you know the difficulty here is if mj cross is reeling to just block and you don't have a great read on when to implement throw like soul really needs to try to get creative and all of those creative spots are opportunities for mj cross on happy chaos to try to swing back and get stuff into his favor but Mike Saftig is tenacious. He's going to keep at that. And you have to as a soul bad guy player. Like, you just, you cannot give up. You have to be always doing something. So, let's see if Mike can bring it back. You know, he was able to get the one game. But, unfortunately for him, it's going to take a couple more. We've got the curse applied. We were able to reload. We have just enough concentration. No, actually, the clip is empty. We're being forced to reload. We've only got one in the back. Had to keep our stuff safe. There's no bullets. MJ Karasa is gun caught on minus the gun right now. Does get the reload off eventually, though. Mike's still trying to chase down these back dashes, but it's it's getting kind of tough. Gun drawn. Oh, we got we got three framers. Oh, but the the wall bounces him too far. Who made the wall out of rubber? Uh, is, is that going to connect? No, it looked like he was just forward dashing. No, he got clipped. Did he run forward? I have to watch on playback. It looked like run forward with wild throw. Oh, you know what? So there is that weird little input shenanigans uh, that happens. Uh, what is it? It is 
you input revolver and you get wild throw sometimes. Maybe. Yeah, but I mean, even in that spot, that still would have lost out, right? Because the what you needed to do there was block. Yeah. Okay. And, uh... Press the issue. Mike has MJ Karasa in the corner, but MJ Karasa managed to get out, spends the PRC, oh. and shoots him out of the sky, duck hunting right now for That's MJ Karasa. That is a point. fast duck, though. Yeah, he's got some, you know, afterburners plugged in there. Oh, that was wild. I, I'm All still right. kind of lost at the ending of that round because, like you said, that duck was flying, and Mike somehow got two very fast connections, but Mike's, again, starting off at such a high tempo. Got and the that's the thing, right? Bulbers? Mike Saftig, Saftig brings out that intensity, but more than just the intensity, just the variability in their approach. It's never oh, no. linear, right? Like, jump it. You don't know if it's going to be bandit, air throw, uh, empty jump low you can't be prepared for anything specific you need to be prepared for everything red rc oh, we no, no! Oh, but another drop of the 5d tap we don't have anything behind it want to press the issue no whip punish 2k oh, no. connects for mj karasa who has plenty of resources in the back we're gonna bring this all the way to the corner deus ex because we need it mm, no oh, it's it not is. enough to kill it is gonna wall break and we're gonna reload the clip in the back yeah as i said the wall was my question i was like oh. I didn't think it was close enough, but I was uh, mistaken, chat. But, Mike, don't let this be the end. There's still there's still plenty Rain of blast, time. But very few bullets, and MJ Karasa keeps having to cheat out extra bullets to keep this pressure going. Saftig is around in the spot to try to make a big call here, but they have to spend so much resources. Dash up Gold Burst, are you serious? Oh my god! Brad, you were talking about big moments big opportunities doesn't get any bigger than that gold burst in that scenario in this economy that's a he brought it to the moon it was like i put it all on gamestop he really wow. did too that's i'm actually at a loss for words the bringer came down on top of it too just crushing the dome piece Damn. All right. Game five. You wanted a winner's finals. You guys got a winner's finals. It, yeah, it came back somehow, and that was a non-punished DP. Oh, we got 5P anti-air that time out of MJ Karasa. Jumps over the clone. Yeah, that's, so that's the thing. You can jump over the clone, but if you try to run through it, you can't. All right, game five trying to press the issue. MJ Karasa manages to get in behind the gunshot, resets uh, back to neutral. That. I wonder if they'll nerf the reload speed because it is it is fast. The the problem with I, I think the difficulty with nerfing reload speed is like if you do too much, it just kind of nullifies the character. Oh, uh, we're reaching. Mike's doing just a bit of teaching. Oh, no. Oh, we don't have the damage uh, behind it. A whiffed air throw has to spend the burst in order to keep themselves alive. YRC comes up from MJ Karasa, who That's finds so the bad. throw. That is so bad scenario-wise for Mike, having to spend the burst there and still losing the round. All right. Nice check from MJ Karasa. MJ Karasa is getting much braver in how they challenge Saftig's approach. There was a lot of passive defense out of MJ Karasa so far, but you can see in this game, they're counter poking a lot more actively. All right, Mike finally I getting a good block on the five dust there. Oh, clips with the extra overhead. Nothing really comes of it, and we get to reset back. Curse is on, but the Viper comes out. We still never found a great answer to it. Uh, we're just Are we going to final rounds? Mike is just slamming buttons right now. Oh, 6H Red RC in the back. We are going to a final round. Final game, final round, winners, finals. And we're starting the game with a bandit revolver into a burst block. Mike is on point. Mike said, wait a minute. I was, that was losing? A punish. 
That was a punish on the 6P. Caught him reaching too. Saftig, is Saftig really about to bring this back burst. all the way? Has to burst to keep it safe. 5D has the damage in the back. Saftig reverse three O's to close out winner's finals. You can never discount the tenacity of the protagonist. This is the sh any of these counter pokes that Itachi's Legacy is throwing out. Wow, the patience to wait for the kite, but still comes down with a button. Does Itachi's Legacy, are we going to stay same side? Yes, we are. We're going to go for the throw on the reset. A second throw? That was going to be three. Yes, yes. You always go for three.